Uh, Albert, it's really great to see you in this news, I think, welcomed by a lot of folks. Does this mean that three doses of your vaccine should potentially be enough to restore at least the antibody levels uh, against Omicron and maybe mean we won't need to update the vaccine here? Yes, what we saw in this uh, study that we did, and this is the first of many that will follow, it is that three doses of our vaccine against Omicron basically is equivalent to two doses of our vaccine with the original strain. So, and as you remember, the original strain, these antibody levels were translated to very, very high efficacy of 95%. So these are good news. On the two doses, uh, the reduction was uh, significant. But the third dose uh, restored the, the, those titles very, very high. What information are you expecting to get over the next couple weeks, both from within you know, Pfizer and BioNTech and also from around the world? We saw the South Africa data last night. We know that academic labs everywhere are working on this. How will you make that decision about whether those three doses are enough uh, or if you do need to uh, switch to that Omicron-specific uh, vaccine, which we understand you started working on already and could have by March? Yeah. The, the data that we received are a data that we got from what we call pseudovirus. So it's not the real virus. It is a virus that we have constructed in our labs, and it is identical with the Omicron virus. This is a very well-known uh, study, and the first data that are coming are from this. Uh, we are uh, working to produce uh, also to reproduce the same results with the real virus, and that will come in maybe a week or two. Uh, and those typically are more accurate because those studies are, those essays are more sensitive. Uh, the ultimate proof is coming from real world data. We need to see where people that they have received the three doses, people that have received the two doses, if we have enough breakthrough cases, the severity of the cases, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And that will come again, I think, by the end of the month. So by the end of the month, holistically, we have enough data uh, to say if Omicron, uh, the solution will be just the third dose and monitor to see when the third dose wanes or not, or if we need to go to a specific against Omicron variant vaccine. Uh, again, uh, based on the studies that we did, because we didn't test only the current vaccine against Omicron, we tested uh, some other vaccines that we have in our toolbox that are not commercially available, but they, they have been uh, um, constructed just in case. Um, we are getting enough conclusions to believe that uh, when, if there is a need for an Omicron, which we are working, that should be a very good one. Uh, I think we should have a good uh, uh, chances if we need an Omicron vaccine to have it in March to be very, very effective and that we will not lose any of our 4 billion annual capacity if we have to switch to an Omicron vaccine. So all of that are good news. Hey, Albert, uh, just to clarify things, all, all three of the shots, the two original shots and then the booster shot, it's the same formulation, it's the same thing. Is it a combination of those three working together and, and somehow making it work better against the Omicron variant? Or is this just a situation where people who got the shot a while ago and then are boosted and updated, that's, that's what provides the effectiveness. And I'm trying to figure that out because there are people who have gotten their shots more recently. And then there are kids ages 12 to 17 who got their shots a while ago but aren't eligible for the booster yet. Where, where does that leave all those categories of people? The best way to see it is the virus is the enemy. We want to protect ourselves. We build a wall. The first dose builds a wall but it is not very high. The second dose builds a wall on top of the first, but it's really high. And now, and it was very good for other variants, now it looks like the Omicron has the ability to, to jump over the, this wall. The third dose takes the wall very high and should stop, no, expect to stop uh, the Omicron. So people that they have uh, two doses, uh, they should get the third one. But uh, if they have two doses, is very likely that you are better protected than if they don't have any or if they have only one, because there are different elements of immune responses that the vaccines is created, like the memory cells. And uh, those cells recognize a, a spike in Omicron that it is almost 80% identical. Mm -hmm. So they should give against severe protection, uh, uh, they should get severe disease protection. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.